Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm trying to use this watch as like the remote. And then I thought I'd start the video and I'm over here just talk, talk, talking and there's nothing report for report. So, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Living Shells Bro. How be you? This is gonna be your independence reading tourist. Independence. You're gonna find out what you need to be leaving behind or what you need to get independent from. We talked a lot about codependency last month. We're talking about independence this month. Ooh. I am too holy for demonic energy. That's the first one that flew off for that shadow spell you did. We have some attacks. I only internalize positivity. Okay. Ooh. That was a little bit hard to handle. So yeah, maybe you could be around a lot of attacks, a lot of negative energy towards us. Um, showing and expressing my emotions gives me inner strength and your wishes come true when you focus upon you. You could just be around negative people in general. Yeah. You could be around some negative people who don't want you to focus on yourself. Or who don't want you to, um, like, say how you feel. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Nine of Swords. Yeah. So these people want to make you feel bad about your money or about your job. I thought that's kind of what this is. Okay, slut shaming, apparently, is like the word um, we're going with here. You want to go with sh slut shaming or something? What is this here? King of Cups and Knight of Cups. So, this puts you in a super emotional space, it seems like. Which, um... Okay, for Taurus, it's like, uh, what? They actually have emotions, they don't ever say anything. Hello. Showing and expressing my emotions gives me strength. This is probably what the problem is, right here. Two of Cups and Nine of Wands. Yeah, so you're like determined to get this love thing. Oh God, here we go. Are we gonna do the same cycle again? King of Swords, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. So we got King of Swords here. Oh. Is someone trying to manipulate a reunion for money? God, y'all are some money hungry people, aren't you? Jesus, look at your own. It's the Pentacles, Queen of Swords. I thought that's what the whole problem is. It's like you're stuck on how to present this conversation because you don't want to get cut off, but you already know that you're just there for money. Bye. <laughs> like, and it's like, and then I feel like you also getting, you feel like you're being attacked because, and here's, this is what I don't understand, okay? So I don't know if who this person is at this particular moment. I'm, I'm hoping it's not somebody I actually know in my, like, I've actually known in my life. I should say known, because that's all the way in the past. Um, eons ago. What it feels like is that, oh my god, they're making me be emotional about this thing I'm already currently emotional about. I just don't want to say that I'm emotional about this thing. In fact, I want to hold it in, which is what Earth signs normally do. I want to hold it in and be defensive about it and be angry about it. And how to tell myself how much I actually am hurt by what is being said instead of, um, oh my God, why not just change your life, right? Because it feels like here, Two of Cups earlier, did I not? Yeah, Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So you are determined to be in love with somebody, I feel like, just in general, in life, but you feel slut shame to the point where you won't be able to be with somebody? Okay, so, and then the question I have is, number one, because depending on who is listening, 
you could actually have been a slut and been slut shamed for the appropriate things that you like being given the appropriate opinion for your actions or <laughs> you know what I mean because if you've been given the appropriate opinion for the actions that you've taken then don't be upset that you did the things that you did to prevent yourself from getting the spot that you wanted to get if you did not do any of these things right and you're just like in a hurt space because you know you haven't been like messing around with people ooh ten of swords you're acting like everything is okay Like if you if even if you are a hoe, okay, if you are a hoe, if you the best damn hoe that's out there, you just been out there tricking and sucking and fucking everything. Um, find someone who may want to trick and fucking suck everything with you. Maybe there's some people out there who do that. There's lots of people out there who do that. Lots of people who are polyamorous, lots of people who are non monogamous, lots of people who yeah, four of cups. I feel like you think that you're gonna keep getting refused by people. But are you trying to attract like are you trying to attract traditional people and you're not living a traditional life? So why are you trying to attract a, a traditional relationship? That's not going to fucking work. It's not. It's the person who I feel here. Again, I said slut shaming. I feel like they've been, they feel like they've been slut shamed or they've been passed around way too many times. And now no one's going to want that. Like they're damaged goods or something. But it's like um, people be wanting a lot of different things. You have no idea what be out there. People be having fetishes. Okay, find someone who actually you know, wants you for the person that you are. And if you a hoe, you a hoe. Find someone who wants a hoe. There's plenty of people out there. Look, the last person I was just talking to wanted a hoe. Literally. Tried to go through, like, literally. Y'all could, I, like, well, I don't have too many to talk to that person, nor do I want to. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially if we're talking about gay people, because gay people all the time want to be hoes. They don't ever want to be with anybody. So I don't understand what this is about. We have three of pinnacles in the chariot. So you feel like there's no way you can work on this to move it forward. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands with that foolish energy. I'm not trying to make this up or anything. This is what I'm feeling. This is coming out. Yeah. But there's two of cups here. So it feels like you think that you can't move on past this foolish energy to be with somebody. But, okay, just change who you want to be with. Like, change the type of person that you want to be with. Do you want to be with someone who wants you for who you are? And then say that that's what you want. Because I guarantee you, this, this this two of cups situation, if it's a true two of cups situation and you've already been a hoe, then they're just going to, you know, find some other people. Like I said, especially we're talking about gay people because I do watch the um, analytics on my channel. Most of the people who do watch my channel are male, okay? I'm assuming a lot of them are, um, if the males watching this channel, I'm assuming a lot of them are gay. Um, they don't have a, you know, a meter for that on the YouTube analytics, so I don't know. But nine times out of ten, yeah, wish fulfillment with this nine of cups. Huh, you change what your wish is so you can get your wish fulfillment. Your uh, your wishes come true when you focus upon you. Okay, so instead of trying to figure out, oh my God, how can I clear my name or how can I get out of this uh, where people are slut shaming me? Find somebody who wants to slut. There are people who want to slut. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to say in like a mean way, but in a like, okay, so if you already, like, if you are ashamed of your sexual history, find someone who wants a, someone with a, um, expansive sexual history. There are people who are out there who want that. Six of Swords, yes, you need to have that conversation. Four of Swords, that healing conversation, right? Within yourself that tells yourself, okay, so there are seven billion people on this earth. One of them has got to want me despite my sexual history, okay, and chances are you're probably not the one, you're probably, like, you probably will meet someone with a more extensive sexual history than you have, right, but this is what, I feel like this is the problem, is that you're judging these other people for having this, an extensive sexual history, and you're slut-shaming yourself, because that's what we're getting, the universe gives you what you give out, so... If you're saying that you want to be with somebody who hasn't been with a lot of people, and you know that you've been with 50 billion people, that's not going to work. You know, you guys aren't equally loved like like that, right? If you're if you are someone who just gives yourself to anybody, and you're trying to attract someone who's like practicing celibacy or who does not give themselves away just easily, 
that's not going to work out because you're going to get constantly frustrated that you're not getting something that this person is not trying to give you. And then you want to be sad and defensive feeling like it's a bad thing, but you're looking in the wrong places. King of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, yeah. I feel like it's one of those where you feel like every time you tell someone the truth, now this could be um, an STD involved as well, and I'm saying that because this, when I'm saying you tell them the truth, like when you get the confidence to really speak from your spot, or when you get to like really, really like somebody, they leave with this Eight of Cups. I feel like when you get to that, you leave. So it's like an abandonment issue that pops up here, right? And I feel like you feel like it's an abandonment issue because you feel like you're being judged for your sexual history. But again, number one is history, right? It's sexual history. Now, if you want to continue that and keep doing that forward, that's your choice. You always have the choice to not uh, continue doing something. The full card at the bottom of the deck, I'm not making this up. You always have the choice to not continue doing something that does not work out well for you. If this is making you feel bad, if you if you have an extensive, um, expansive, bouncing on anything that will stand up for you, if, if you are like that person, right, and you're afraid that nobody is going to want you, that's not true, especially if you've been bouncing on all, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have an extensive sense of someone has wanted you, clearly, if you, you know, so I guess I'm not understanding this. Because at the same time, you could just not do it, you know? You could just not. Or you could find people who are, that you would deem worthy. Because the thing about this, what I'm looking at, is that I feel like someone feels like they don't find anybody deeming, deeming worthy of being in a relationship with, but they keep finding people um, that they deem worthy of giving their body to. And then being mad because the people who they want to be in a relationship with are not the people who give their body to everybody. And then they get upset because it's like, okay, so, at like, it's like Taurus person, it's like, you, it's, it's like you as a person, it's like, I'm a person, as, as a person who gives my body to everybody, I feel so judged for giving my body to everybody, as you're saying, they're judging other people for giving their body to people. So, no, you're not going to be with anybody like that, that's not going to work. Aries energy came up. Could be dealing with the Aries. Could be that Aries uh, confidence. This could be this childlike um, idea of, well, I can do it, but you can't. Like that, a relationship is not going to work that way. Earth at the bottom of the deck, get grounded. Oh, Gemini at the bottom. Yeah, flipping sides here. I can do it, but you can't. Mm. That seems like if, if the fake card pops out here, I'm a crack of laughing. Mm -hmm. Work. Yeah, well, uh, yes, we all know that that is like, and this is, again, I was hoping it's not somebody that I actually know or actually knew. Ugh, get that hammer down in my brain, past tense, because I'm not going anywhere back to that. Um, yes, this is like, so if you do sex work, if you're a sex worker, and you find that people do not want to date sex workers, find people who do want to date sex workers. Like, do they not have a sex worker dating website or a, web, a sex worker dating app? If they don't, be the one who invents that and make the money from that. Then everybody's going to want to date you because you'd be rich from making the sex worker dating app. Million dollar idea. Okay, just do it right at you. Don't take it. Show me a back pay, too. Fortune. Bam. There we go. Million dollar idea. You may be making a lot of money from this, but... Yeah, rich. So, if you, this is already things I already knew, unfortunately, I just, uh, mm -hmm. identity, don't look back and believe, yeah, exactly, because I'm sure not looking back, what in the hell is this, I'm not looking back at that, I already know who that is, I'm not trying to, you, you just go, go find someone who actually wants to deal with you, please and thank you, cancer energy, Okay, you may have a cancer that may want to deal with you. Go deal with them. Mm-hmm. They could be wearing a mask, or you could be wearing a mask involved in this. Mm-hmm. In your family. This could be a cancer in your family. I don't know um, anybody's immediate family's uh, signs here, but it could be a cancer in your family that's hiding something from you. And this does not have to be your blood family. This could also be your spiritual family. Yeah, therapy. So, 
this could be somebody who is really like trying to like act like they're on your side but the entire time they're really trying to get you to go to therapy or really trying to get you to um you know um see a different way out of this right go talk about with with like a professional see a different way out of it yeah emotional because like that emotional coming up earlier Like, of all the things in the universe, so, and this is why I don't understand, because this is, it, this is who I think this is, with love being at the bottom of the deck, this is who I think this is, wanting love, and doing sex work, and getting upset that they're doing sex work, and they're not attracting love, because they're doing sex work, understand that all the sex work that you're doing, do you not know the entities that are attached to the people that you're, you know, doing that with, you opened yourself up to that, you signed up, you signed the contract already. Don't be upset that you didn't think about the consequences before you signed the contract. And especially if you're continuously doing the same thing, right? Like, no, no one cares. Like, if you're continuously been doing the same thing that you've been doing and attracting the same trash you've been attracting, don't be upset when it's like, uh, duh. That last one, ooh. I don't know what that was. What is this? Anxiety. Dreams. You may be having anxious dreams. Ooh, which wizard house? So you may be having a um, some kind of anxious dreams here. Could be about a house. Um, could be about manifesting a house. You could be trying to manifest a house in your dreams as well, but your anxiety could be blocking you. I got my window open and everything. Fan on, still sweating. It's just chaotic planets. Oh, that should not be. There we go. I hate my analysis turned the wrong way. What chip? Yeah. Yeah, I already know what this is. I, I, I've been you with this is like this is what I'm been saying and this, this is somebody who I know I've been saying the same shit for 10 years so it's like at, at some point if you don't want to hear it you don't want to hear it but move out the way and let me talk to the people who actually want to hear what I got to say yeah occupation look for a new damn job then I mean that's really what it is if you don't like you can always look for a new job you can always look for a different type of person. You can always change something within yourself to change the situation. You like if you're doing this and you get up like you can like whatever. I I don't know. I don't want to be like that person. Like you know, just leave the channel unsubscribed. But I mean that's how I'm feeling. Like if you're gonna be stuck and complaining about the same thing that you're not gonna do anything about, then it's time to uh you know move about the way so I can help people who actually want the help. And write back out message, distant horizons, journey, thoughts, a house, mature man, and what's this one? Privileged lady. Yeah. And coffee. So, I mean, now, uh, for what it seems like here, especially if you're getting that rich money from sleeping with these people, doing this sex work. Why not just go get a sugar daddy? And just call it a day. Mature man house, just go get a sugar daddy and call it a day. And live that privileged lady life that you're trying to live. And leave the rest of us alone. Because I should not want to be bothered if this is somebody that I have previously known in my actual life outside of the YouTube. What is this? Seven of Swords, the Emperor, Five of Swords, and Death. Yeah. Because I feel like here you're deceiving yourself into thinking that you can be the Emperor. Ten of Cups in the reverse. The only card is in the reverse up here and the Three of Swords. And Five of Swords in this Death card. I feel like you're deceiving yourself into believing that you're the Emperor. And I feel like you're also deceiving yourself in believing that you um, don't need to change. You don't need to change, right? Because that's the entire problem is you need to change. 
that's really what I feel like it boils down to is that you need to change and you're upset because you don't want to change. Again, having a two-year-old temper tantrum with the eight of cups. It's like, Again, page of cups. Every time people leave you, every time you start to, I guess, say that or put that out there, what is this? Um, we have the devil. Okay, we got the devil, the high priestess, three of cups, chariot, empress, and the moon. Oh my god. So it's like every time you're honest with somebody, every time you use your intuition, every time you um, try to lift the illusions, every time you try to let people know what's really going on with you, um, what, what this toxic energy is that you're holding within. Especially if you're trying to let this empress know. Okay? Because I feel like you're trying to go towards this person. Or... You're trying to be that person because the Empress is a Taurus card, right? You may be trying to be that person. But here's the thing, though. You're trying to be the Empress from the devil energy. That's why it's not working. You can't be in toxic energy and try to attract what it is that you want. You can't be in this toxic uh, energy, this karmic energy... Because remember, the devil is the Capricorn. Capricorn is, I believe, co-ruled by Saturn. But, again, Saturn is karma. This is, the, this is a karmic energy. And you're trying to attract love with this Venus Empress energy. You can't attract love from a karmic energy. You just can't do it. And please do not tell me this is the energy of you... Because, and especially if you're doing the sex work, again, I'm, I'm asking you, do you know the, the spiritual health of the people that you're doing the sex work with? Because, again, if you're doing if you're doing that work with karmics, no, you're not going to attract this. Because you signed yourself up to be the karmic, what, karmic jailbait or karmic, uh, karmic vacuum? I don't even know what you want to call it. Like the, 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 you like the karmic percolator? Yeah, five of pentacles and ace of cups. You feel like you're lacking love. And this is why. You chose the path of karmics. And I'm not saying that every sex worker is, is, you know, messing with karmics or whatever. But I feel like in this particular case, you are for the money. Sold your soul for the money. Where was the rich card at? And you made your decision. And if you don't like your decision, change your decision. You can't change the past, but you can sure as hell um, from today moving forward change what you do. And if you need some money get a job. There's plenty of out there, plenty of opportunities of people who have jobs available, and um, if you watch, yeah, justice in reverse. You put this unfair, but whatever. It's like, if you watch my other, um, on my other channel, I have the Shadowcast. It's my podcast uh, channel where I have the video, so if you want to see the video or listen to the audio, either one it goes, but I'm talking about uh, people raising these minimum wages and people, like, there's been lots of evidence. If you look it up, a lot of these jobs are in order to bring people in, are starting to pay more. I know uh, I had a friend who just got a job, 20 bucks an hour. 20 bucks an hour. So, if you're looking for the money, there are some places that offer it. Now, I don't know if there's a place near you that's offering it, or, you know, whatever that is, but if you're trying to get some money and you don't want to deal with, you know, sexual karmics, then yeah. I mean, this is tells the story right here. This told the whole story right here. We got Five of Wands, The Hangman, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So this Five of Wands and The Hangman, you're in some drama and you feel stuck because you put yourself there. You signed that contract. Again, you worked with the devil. You signed the contract. You're messing with the karmics or riding the karmics, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it. I'm not trying to slut shame you, but I'm trying to put it out there spiritually how this is being seen and again don't be mad if you're doing the deed not necessarily, not necessarily saying that everybody who is a sex worker is doing this but this person is specifically dealing with karmics rich karmics okay 
the reason why they're paying you this, the reason why they're paying you these big bucks is because they already know that they're toxic. I don't know if you caught on to that or not. But the reason why these people are willing to pay you this big money for this is because they know that they themselves are already toxic before they even came to you. That's why they have to pay you so much to fuck with them. Yes. They look for you to, to page of swords, page of pentacles, queen of wands. They look for someone like you on purpose to make these offers to. So don't tell me that you're stuck in this when, again, you're accepting the offer. Because, again, if you're a sex worker, this is very consensual. If you are a sex worker, this is consensual. It's not like you were raped. It's not like you were, um... You know what I'm saying? Like, you chose this path. Don't be upset at the consequences because you didn't want to think about them before they popped up in your life. And so, yes, you may have had, you may have been karmically blocked or, uh, from having a... What is it? I don't want to say... Not, and it's not platonic either, but maybe like a romantic love because you decide to get a sexual and financial agreement going. And you're on if you're honoring that agreement, then that's the end of the story. So don't be upset that you signed the karmic contract and you're getting the karma from the karmic contract. You chose that. Next life, think, uh, you know, think before you do any of that. I, I, like, I don't know what to tell you with that, but I feel like that's the independence here is that, is that maybe you need to be revealed to you that the contract that you signed, because I feel like that's what it is. And it's like, I'm too holy for demonic energy because, again, the karmics that you're dealing with, if you are, if, you know, if this is the sex worker reading and I'm believing that it is, you're dealing with these karmics and you're fucking with these karmics for money and they're paying you a lot of money. They're rich, right? They're paying you a lot of money because they already know that they are toxic. They know they're spiritually toxic. That's why they're giving you the, uh, all this money. So, I mean, if you want the money, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. If you want to switch up your life, you can switch up your life. But don't sit there and complain in this hangman energy that, oh, woe is me. I can't find anybody. Oh, woe is me. I have to... I, I'm doing this completely thing like I'm doing this thing I completely do not have to do to get money and I'm not getting where it is that I want. Take that to somebody else. And that's probably what keeps happening to you. And again, it's because you are the person who needs to change with this five of swords and this death. You are the person. There's no one around you. There's nothing you can do. You have to change from within yourself to attract something different. That is it. The end of the story. If I got the gavel, I need a gavel. God damn it. Ah, give me a gavel, like, like it's like that's what it is. Judgment has been passed. If you, you, if you want to get out of your situation, pull yourself up out of it. Cause the energy I'm feeling, or what this what this reading is seeing, is like is that uh, you're stuck because you want to be stuck and you don't want to change. So have the same life. If you don't want to change, then you're going to continue having the same life. It's just that simple. It's really just that simple. I did not even need to spend 30 minutes doing this. And again, if, I feel like if this is somebody who I previously have known eons ago and do not ever want to get in contact with again, um, this is something that I have said for years now. So this is not new information. Get up off my line with this. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm trying to actually help people who actually want to get helped, okay? You're just sitting there in this hangman energy. You're not trying to get helped. By the source of death, you're not trying to change. Get up off my line. Straight up. <sighs> I didn't mean for it to be like that, y'all. But, uh, I mean, hey. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. I do want to thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. To everybody you know, let me shout out to Ro. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.